Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you a simple, quick, easy, and inexpensive way to repair a torn RV awning. Two months ago, we had a nasty tear in our RV awning that was only gonna get worse. The awning was in great shape other than this one damaged area, and I really didn't want to have to replace the awning as it would cost anywhere from $250 to $300 just for the material. Not to mention what it would cost to pay someone to replace it for me, and if I didn't want to pay to have it replaced, it was going to be quite the undertaking. We'd had the tear for quite a while and I had previously attempted to use a Turnabond RV roof repair tape to try to at least keep it from getting worse. Well, that didn't work out so well. The Turnabond is great for RV roof repairs, but it's definitely not made for this application. So I removed the old Turnabond tape and came up with a new plan. Duct tape and super glue. <laughs> I know, wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. I know this sounds a little hokey, but it really does work. I mean, can you think of a better combination? Man has used super glue and duct tape for anything and everything under the sun for ages. However, I wonder, has anyone ever thought to use one in conjunction with the other? I may have just stumbled across a major technological innovation, right? Well, my first step was to clean the surface of the awning where I would be applying the tape to try to get the Eternabond residue off. I tried some acetone stripper but quickly realized that that would not work as it began taking the color off the top surface of the awning. So I just kind of peeled the sticky substance off with my fingers and I used a bungee cord to give the awning some slack and to relieve the tension on the material. This allowed me to pull the damaged pieces together before applying the tape. After the area was fairly clean, I applied the super glue using the handy applicator brush that comes with this particular bottle of Gorilla Glue. This worked really well for underneath the awning where it would have been nearly impossible to apply without it. I then applied a piece of tape to the top of the awning and wrapped it around the end to give it added strength. After letting this sit for about five minutes to cure and bond, I added more glue and another piece of tape starting from underneath and completely wrapping it up and over the first piece. Then I added one more piece of tape just to give it a bit of extra strength in this area that was gonna see a lot of tension when the awning is out and the wind is blowing just like it is out here today. And that's all there really is to it. I mean, pretty simple, right? Well, hey, I've added some Amazon links in the description below for the glue and the duct tape. And also, I thought you might be interested in the Telesteps telescoping folding ladder that we have as it's been great for us. It works in both a six foot A-frame ladder as well as a 12 foot extension ladder and has a capacity of 250 pounds. It's really easy to use, to carry, and it's compact for storage in the RV. We've had it since we've hit the road two and a half years ago and we absolutely love it. You can also check out all of our other products that we use to upgrade travel and live full-time in our RV at the Amazon link below. Well, this awning repair is working out really well for us. Once again, it's been two months since we did this repair and it's still in perfect condition other than maybe it's gotten a little dirty, which kind of hard to avoid out here in the desert, right? And we've had our fair share of windy days, kind of like this one to test it out and it's been great. So. I hope this video helps you if you're in the same situation and also maybe saves you some time, money, and aggravation. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell below to ensure you'll be notified each time we post another one of our RV how-to videos just like this one. Also, feel free to drop a comment or question below as we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.